I mean, look at it like this. We're fighting for our lives. Lives that we barely want to live. Um, so 600 Breezy, his girlfriend recently um, committed suicide. Her name was Raven. And um, so many people were like, oh, that's selfish. Why would you do that? But at the end of the day, we really can't judge people. We can't judge them at all. We don't really know what she was going through. And the only thing that I could think of is maybe she had low serotonin levels. And when you have low serotonin levels, you feel hopeless a lot. You're depressed. It's really hard for you to stay up. You're always down and you have anxiety. You're not really motivated. And that's one thing I thought of. I was like, maybe it could have been that. I don't know. But that's the first thing that comes to mind because this young lady, um, 600 Breezy posted a text message that she wrote him and she was saying that she'd been struggling with this for years and you know she'd been trying to combat it and you know outside looking in everybody's like why would she do that because y'all are looking at the fact that she was attractive you all are looking at the fact that she had all those followers and she was successful but to you all that was that's happiness but to her that wasn't happiness I don't know exactly what it would have, you know, what would have made her happy, but it obviously wasn't the attention. It obviously wasn't her fans. It obviously wasn't her boyfriend, 600 Breezy. We don't know. She said she was struggling with it for a while. So I would just say, please don't judge her too much. You don't know. Like I said, many people do suffer from having low serotonin levels. And I actually remember I met a young lady who had low serotonin levels and she told me she would take medicine to combat that. When she wouldn't take the medicine, she would just feel just hopeless, down, depressed, suicidal. But when she would take the medicine, it would help her. And sometimes medicine is a good thing. It's not always a bad thing. And chemical imbalances are real. They are very, very real. So it's easy to say, oh, you selfish, but you don't know if you're suffering from that. It's very hard to be happy. Just imagine wanting to be happy so bad, but your body just won't, don't even know how to be happy. Your body only knows how to be sad because you don't produce a certain chemical or something. That has to be very hard. You know, has to be, but my prayers go out to that young lady and my prayers go out to 600 Breezy. Uh, my prayers go out to her friends and family. It's very sad, but, and, and then I'm going to say this, I'm going to just be real as possible. When a person has made up their mind to do that, there's almost nothing you can do. I hate to say there's almost nothing you can do, man. I just say continuously check on the ones you love, pay attention to them, be nice to people, be kind to people. You just never know the one day you're in a bad mood and you you say something mean to someone or act a certain way that could just push them to the edge. Just always keep in mind you don't really know what people are going through. You really don't. You really don't, man. But my prayers go out to the young lady, her family, friends, everybody, man. 600 Breezy, stay up. I know this is a tough time. You all in my prayers. It's your boy Ron. I'm out.